Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another week in my life. Now to those of you who are new to my channel, hi, my name is Nikki. I'm a first time semi new mom sharing my journey in life and more specifically in pursuing a slower life. My husband and I are kind of doing our own little homestead in the city, as I like to call it. And I love making videos and sharing. If you didn't already know this, which you do if you watch my other videos, this is a series that I've been doing on my channel for the last few years. So I have a ton of these day in my life, week in my life videos. So if you're in a binging mood, I will link my playlist down below. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you like it. And with all of this long talking intro, let's hop right in. All right, so we're starting off in the kitchen. Now on this week, my family was visiting us in town, which was just so nice. But on this day, also, my friend was coming over for dinner to hang out and meet my family. And so I decided to just like make this random quinoa kale recipe. So I started off by cooking up some quinoa. And then Dan actually did this job for me. This is a really tedious job, but I'm telling you, kale is so good in a salad when it's really thinly sliced. I feel like the thinner you can get the kale sliced, it makes it so that every bite is full of flavor. Then I wanted to make this white bean hummus, so I pulled out this can of cannellini beans, and then I made my way to the back to cut some rosemary for my hummus. So once I had poured my cannellini beans and tahini into a food processor, Dan peeled some garlic for me, which yes, this is the garlic that we grew. Oh, it's so delicious. And then we chopped up some rosemary and threw that in the mix as well. Now I'm diverting back to the salad. I poured in the kale that we had chopped and then I kind of started doing a layer of the cooked quinoa and my kale and my cooked quinoa and my kale. I find any reason I can to put grilled onion in dishes. I love the smell of cooking onion on the stovetop. So I diced up this purple onion. Then I stepped back over to the hummus and I added in some balsamic vinegar as well as some pink Himalayan sea salt. Also a little bit of olive oil, which I totally didn't need because I had already added water in here. That's my only thing. This hummus was so good, but it was way too watery. Um, so yeah, then I cooked up my onions. Then I continued to build my salad with some chopped apples, and then I also cut up these beets that my mom had picked up earlier that day at Trader Joe's. These are convenient, obviously, because they're already cooked and peeled, and I really like beets, and I forget to use them. Like, I'll go through like beet phases, and then it'll be months, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I like beets. So probably because we're going into the fall, I'm feeling the beet vibe again. Then I decided to experiment with making these lentil patties. Um, I saw this on some girl's channel and now I cannot remember her name, but basically she did equal parts lentils and water and she blended that up so that it was like a little sludge. <laughs> that's, that is not an appealing way to describe this dish, but that's what it was. And then she made them like into pancakes. So they were kind of like patty, pancakes, just another way to get in protein. And she had put like, I think she put greens and different veggies on hers and made them bigger. But anyways, that's what I wanted to do. This is kind of a semi fail, but just keep watching. Then I threw some sunflower seeds on as well as, you know, my favorite chunky sea salt. I buy a really specific brand too. So I will have that linked down below. Um, then I cut up these cherry tomatoes. These ones are not from my garden. At this point I had run out of the fresh ones I had picked, but actually I just picked a bunch more this morning. You didn't need to know that, but yeah. Then 
Then I grated up some Parmesan cheese. We get our Parmesan cheese from Costco, by the way, because it is like authentic, real Parmesan, and it's so good. Then I threw some cilantro on top. As you can see, my lentil patties were a hot mess. We still ate them though. <laughs> and then I took this Newman's own balsamic dressing and put that in the salad. Here's my honest review, guys. It was good. I make better dressing from scratch, but it did save me some time and it was still really good. That is the hummus, by the way, on top of the lentil patties that I made. Then I don't drink much sparkling water anymore, but my dad had picked this up from the grocery store. It was really good. And then afterwards, I of course had to have some of this Alter Eco burnt caramel chocolate that I had been storing in the freezer because, duh, so good. <laughs> So now we are taking a trip back to my chiropractor's office. Um, so I go to a place here in Nashville called East Nashville Chiropractic and I see Dr. Mark Wetzler. Shout out to you, Dr. Mark. Um, he's the bomb and I've mentioned this quite a few times that I have been dealing with chronic pain literally since I was like 12 years old. I'm one of those people that has done quote unquote everything and I have never seen the needle move forward in my body in terms of like pain relief um, in the way that it has in the last six months I've been working with him I go twice a week and I've mentioned to you guys I do my like physical therapy at home six days a week so I am really guys I've mentioned this before I am in it to win it I'm really hopeful about what is going on in my body and if you if you've been following my channel for a long time um, like legit following my channel, this probably makes you excited because you've had to hear me talk about this for so long. And I still have quite a journey ahead of me, I can tell. Um, my injuries are kind of like peeling back layers of an onion. I am just dealing with different things at different times. And this machine is like a muscle stimulation kind of machine. I will be talking more about all of this just in the future as all of this continues to unfold. Um, but yeah, so on this day, my dad actually came with us because he's in town. Hi, dad. And Mark was like, you have to try the machine. It's amazing. And I had been telling him it's like nothing I've ever tried before. And so he used it and he got to, you know, experience the whole experience. And it was pretty amazing. Also, Dan has started going to see Dr. Mark because we really believe in maintenance in the body and proper posture, which I don't always think can be achieved on your own. I think that having someone, a practitioner help you, and in this case, using this machine is really going to set me and him up for a stronger body. I'm just... Uh, I'm feeling really hyped about all of this right now, guys. So um, yeah, Dan goes once a week, I go twice a week, and I am loving this. Now back to my house, we have Cowboy Logan and my mom. We literally walked in from the appointment like when we got home and this is where they were seated. We were like, wow, you guys look really comfortable um so yeah my baby is so cute i love seeing my parents as grandparents it's the sweetest most you know surprisingly unexpected thing i've ever experienced in my life like i know that's like i guess the circle of life but i had never really spent time envisioning this or imagining this situation and let me just say i'm loving it Life is really cute. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time in the kitchen this week because like I mentioned 12 times now, I have physically been feeling so much better and I've just been enjoying being able to cook. And when my family was in town, you know, I love being able to cook for people when I can. And so that is what I'm doing. One of the things that I did when my parents were in town was I made some baby food, some puree. I'm gonna be making a video about it. I mean, I technically already did. I just haven't edited it yet. Um, but these were the veggies that I needed to roast for the food I was going to make the next day. So Dan chopped these all up for me. Very nice. Thank you, Dan. and then I throw them on a tray and into the oven. By the way, if my dress looks a little strange, it's because I'm pumping right now. <laughs> so I have to pull it up above the pumps for this dress to fit.
Now, we decided we wanted brisket sandwiches for lunch. My dad is actually vegetarian right now for his own health reasons, but you guys know that I have been eating animal products since I decided to try to get pregnant. And Dan had made a bunch of brisket that we put into freezer bags. And so on this day, we all decided we wanted brisket sandwiches, but then I wanted to make my dad his own veggie sandwich. So I started off with veggies in both pans, onions, mushrooms, zucchini, and I just stir fried those. Our was stir fried with butter and my dad's was stir fried with avocado oil. Once the veggies were mostly cooked, I threw the brisket in the pan. The brisket had already been completely cooked, so it was literally just a reheating situation. And then kind of near the end, we crushed in some of our garlic because we look for any reason we can find to add our fresh garlic to the mix. Then I chopped up some jalapenos from our garden as well as these tomatoes from our garden, which were literally as amazing as they look. So there's that. Then I made my dad's sandwich, which was just the veggies, um, thick slices of tomatoes, some pepper, some salt, and then I used the last little bit of my garlic aioli that I had on hand, and I made this sandwich on sourdough, of course. Looking back, I totally should have added avocado to this. My sandwich was the same, but also with brisket and goat cheese instead of aioli. Now this is some random footage. We're just gonna call this happy footage. <laughs> Me and Dan and Logie and the pups were hanging out in the living room just having a chat as you do in your living room and um, Logie is getting real comfortable with Bowser. He spends a good amount of time now um, kind of squishing his ears, biting his neck, petting him, purring at him. That's kind of a random thing that he started doing and it's just really cute. Also, there's no such thing as too many baby kisses. Just throwing that out there. By the way, it's so weird because it has been so warm here in Nashville the last few months. And Logan's like a big boy now. And I just, I know he's gonna be wearing clothes a lot more now moving forward than he has for like most of his life so far. Oh, by the way, I did film my LV versus Spectra video. I just have not gotten around to getting it edited yet, but that will be going up hopefully very soon in life. Also, I am about to run out of this tea that I've been drinking for years, and I think I'm finally going to order a different tea. So if anyone has any like fruity, florally, natural kind of organic tea recommendations, please let me know in the comments down below. So I do this routine like two or three times a day for Logan's nap where we go out. I've mentioned this before, I ground him. So I'll put his feet in the dirt. Even I'll just hold him while I'm barefoot in the dirt. But then I get him in his stroller and we take a walk. So this was Logan's pre-nap walk and there he is doing his pre-nap posing. Oh yeah. So Dan had a pretty exciting day this last week. To those of you that don't know, Dan is a skydiver. Dan is actually a lover of just like adrenaline because he's also a NASCAR driver, if you didn't know that. And yeah, literally look at my husband go. He is insane and I love him so much. <laughs> So I mentioned I do my physical therapy six days a week and it's like a pretty set routine. I have developed so many more routines in my life lately than I think I ever used to have. I don't know. I just feel like having to be home so much and having a baby has turned me into a really like reflective person about my routines and my workout routine has become very specific. So there I was getting my specific workout in. I didn't get the whole thing filmed, but I just thought, I don't even know. I'm just thinking about my workout routine. <laughs> so another thing that is part of my day, my week. By the way, this plant looks so weird moving around. It's because of the fan going off in my room. Anyways, folding diapers. Um, 
I just wanted to give you an update. Logan is eating food now, as you guys know, and we are still loving our cloth diapers. Dan uses the hose attachment to our toilet. I say Dan because honestly, it is Dan 98% of the time, and he is not finding it a problem yet. We will see as he continues to eat more and more solid food how that goes, but um, so far we are still fans of the cloth diaper life. random tomato harvest. Oh, they were so good. I turned all of those tomatoes into a golden tomato sauce for lasagna, by the way. I didn't film it because I didn't feel confident, oh, but it ended up being so good. By the way, random snack alert, oranges and sourdough with that hummus. Mm, it was really good. <laughs> so Dan and I spent a little time this week finally putting away all of the little odds and ends in the room that Dan renovated. We still have not turned that into like an official room. So we started doing that and then I had to take a pause because I got this package from Dr. Paracone or Paracone MD. I love this brand. I have been such a fan of his products for years and they sent a little PR kit with their new products as well as this Four Sigmatic Mushroom Cacao Mix, which I haven't tried yet. And then this Kush Candle, which I've literally already burned all the way to the bottom. It was so good. Anyways, I love the Paracone products and these are all hypoallergenic allergenic CBD sensitive skin therapy products. I've used the elixir, the moisturizer, and the eye cream so far, and I love them. I've actually never tried a Paracone product that I didn't love, so just really random. If you're in the market for some new skincare, they are one of the brands that I would recommend. Eventually, we will turn this into a room that we actually use, but like you know when your list is so long of all of the random things you're working on and it's just like, I'll get to it eventually? <laughs> That's kind of this room. We're just taking life and every day one step at a time. Speaking of one step at a time, our garden is not exactly thriving, but it is growing. Um, I'll continue to give you guys updates. I did eat some arugula from our garden today with our lunch and it was really good. And we still have some tomatoes that are coming in, but we're definitely at the end of the tomato season. Like this is pretty much it. Also, our chickens have not started laying eggs yet to everyone that is asking. I will definitely let you know when that happens because every day I feel like I'm just waiting with bated breath to find out that my chickens are laying eggs. So we'll see. Every day I talk to them and I ask them for their eggs. <laughs> All right, so something about my mom is she gets me to do things that I want to do but have been putting off. And one of those really simple tasks was making mayonnaise. So basically I went to Farmhouse on Boone, Lisa. I went to her blog and followed her avocado oil mayonnaise recipe. And oh my gosh, it was so good. I never thought that mayonnaise like could taste so good. And now I feel a little dumb for not trying this before. I will probably never buy mayonnaise or veganaise ever again because it was so simple, so cost effective, and literally so delicious. By the way, here's a random shot of my lunch from this day. Leftover quinoa kale salad, oranges, and a BLT with thick slices of tomatoes from our garden. Okay, so this has zero editing on it. Literally, we have had some beautiful sunsets lately because of all of the storms that have been going on here in Nashville. And I wanted you to see exactly what we saw. So this is unedited. <sighs> that is it for this video. I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day, night, week, wherever you are. And I'm praying for peace over all of you. I will hopefully see you back here soon with another new video. And if you're still hearing my voice, check my info box for today's semi-secret giveaway. All right. Bye guys. <laughs>